I think all of us on Heartbreak Hotel have felt very much at home here. Well, since my baby left. I found friends in Austin that have lasted my whole life. When I decided to come back here to film Nadine, it was really because I'd been homesick this place for 35 years. The film industry is rapidly growing with the production of DOA, Nadine, and more recently Heartbreak Hotel. I asked Linda Obst, one of the producers of Heartbreak Hotel, if this was the first movie she'd made in Texas. The uh, very first time I've made a film in Texas, but very much not the last time I'm going to make a picture in Texas. And uh, how does Austin compare with other places in the United States for making movies? Well, uh, and this experience has become my favorite place to make a movie. Um, I think that's uh, for a number of reasons. Um, for one thing, um, Austin can double as any town USA. It has rural areas, it has cosmopolitan areas, and it has a small town feeling and a big downtown. So it has um, the advantages of doubling for any other city. And it's also just really fun to live here, between the music and the friendly and, in, and intelligent people. Um, I think all of us on Heartbreak Hotel have felt very much at home here, so much so that many of us are thinking of actually buying second homes here and, and staying here. Um, Austinites have made us feel very welcome, and um, in many ways we feel it's like home. Is it less expensive to make movies here in Austin? Well, um, it's certainly not more expensive to make movies here in Austin. It's not a city with, which presents problems for making movies, and it's problem-solving that creates expense. Um, there's wonderful crew here. Um, there's a rich talent pool, so that we don't have to import everybody from out of state, and that makes it less expensive to make movies here. Um, there are wonderful services uh, that can be bought for reasonable prices here, from from clothing and food and catering to manufacturing uh, that we've been able to make good deals on. And I think Austin has become aware of the fact that, that movie money is good money and can actually be economically um, very healthy for Austin. And as a result, we've had terrific cooperation from various merchants and manufacturers in enabling us to make good deals. Is it a secret as to how much you've spent on the movie so far? Well, I don't always like to talk about budgets, but we can say that it's, um, it's um, not over $10 million, um, and uh, not under eight. And, um, and I think that um, we have a tremendous amount of production value for that money. In many ways, our movie looks like it when it's beginning to look, in any case, um, early to be too predictive. But from dailies, it looks like we're making a $20 million movie for $10 million. And, a lot of that are the natural, practical locations that we were able to absorb in Austin um, that gave and are continuing to give the movie a very rich look. And how much um, pre-planning does it go into finding these locations? That's one of the very big jobs of um, 
of uh, pre-production. Um, a tremendous amount of planning and looking goes on. I think one of the really great jobs for people in Austin to cultivate is location scouting because in our case, I think the longer we spent here, the more we realized the wealth of locations we never got to explore when we first moved to Austin. Certainly when I come back to make another movie here, I'll know much more than I did about uh, the various resources of town and wonderful watering holes and, and, and exquisite acres and hills and wildflowers and all sorts of natural delights of the place that um, I've only discovered once locations were already chosen on this picture. But all that being said, I'm thrilled with the look of the picture, and, um, and I'm thrilled with the practicals we were able to find in Austin. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Robert Benton. Thank you very much. This is actually the second time I've been on the stage with the Paramount Theater. Once in 1951, Mae West was touring the country with one of her road shows, and, and I was a student at the university, and some friends of mine and I heard that she needed people for walk-ons, so we came down here to, to uh, audition. I remember it very well. We were standing right over there, and the great lady was, was back there, and she turned around and she took one look at me, and it was clear that I didn't have... Um, the acting abilities she thought were necessary. In fact, the direct quote was, get that little runt with the glasses out of here. Uh, that was the beginning and the end of my acting career on the stage of the Fairmount Theater. Between 1949 and 1953, I spent an inordinate amount of time in this theater. I saw movies like Singing in the Rain, Adam's Rib, Place in the Sun, Barefoot Contessa. It was in theaters like the Paramount in the state and the Texas and the Varsity and the Capitol that I got to know the work of directors like John Huston, like Joe Mankiewicz, like Jean Renoir, like Howard Hawks, like John Ford. I, it was a part of my education that was enormously valuable. It probably, I gave it too much attention since I flunked the only creative writing course I ever took at the university. <laughs> the four years I spent here were among the happiest that I've ever known. I found friends in Austin that have lasted my whole life. When I decided to come back here to film Nadine, it was really because I had been homesick for this place for 35 years. 
when I did come back, I found Austin to be as extraordinary as when I left. I found old friends again, I found new friends, and for both of those things, I'm eternally grateful. We filmed Nadine almost a year ago, and I know I speak not just for myself, but for Kim Basinger, for Rip Torn, for Jeff Bridges, for the entire cast and crew, when I say that you people in Austin made this one of the happiest working experiences we have ever known. I would also like to thank the Texas Film Commission, which is one of the ba best film commissions that I have ever worked with. In particular, Dana Shelton, Tom Copeland, Liz Klein, and Kathy Rhodes in San Antonio. Finally, I would like to thank Nadine Eckhart for letting us temporarily borrow her name. We hope we return it in good state. Finally, I hope you enjoy watching this movie as much as we enjoyed making it. Thank you, thank you all very much for coming. <laughs>